Hello everyone, thanks for dropping by. For a start, that is a brand new Aston Martin Vantage, the flagship. And it's got a V12 engine at the front, two doors, two seats. And if I had that kind of money, would I have one? As an, as an American would say, hell yeah. But not in that colour. And I'd feel like James Bond driving to a high-end social event in that. But unlike Jane Bond, there would be no beautiful woman in the seat next to me as I checked out on women, dating, and everything else associated with that when I was uh, 15 years and 8 months old, i.e. 4 months before I turned 16. The way I was treated in my teens and adolescent years, I just didn't want anything, anything to do with women anymore. But anyway, enough about that. As you know, the American birth rate has gone off a cliff, followed by the American wedding rate, and dating is rapidly catching up with them. I've been having a look around. I'll try to do a quick one this week. I found this. I don't know what the Heritage Foundation is. I've never even heard of it till I found this site. But as you can see, the real crisis affecting the American family. This was done about a year ago, i.e. 5th of September 2023. It's the primary driver between fall, falling birth rates in America is not that mothers are having fewer children, but that the number of women who have no children has risen sharply. That is the result of women being too picky. Individuals are putting off marriage and children because many who want to get married are struggling to find partners, i.e. the Women have a shopping list for guys. Guys just want a woman who's feminine, friendly, and that he, he can get along with. And family policies cater to families who have already been formed, but a major driver of falling birth rates is that people are not getting married in the first place. And if you drop down... Uh, uh, but there's birth gap... A book, data scientist Stephen J. Shaw notes that the primary driver between birth rates is not that mothers are having fewer children, but that the number of women who have no children has risen sharply, as the pointer said at the top. Most of these women, about 80%, wanted children, but either never found a partner or did so in time to have children, or in their prime years they were busy riding a cock carousel. And they only wanted to go with the bad boys and Chad. But now that the wall's approaching, they find that time has run out for them. They were caught unawares, had been poorly educated. Well, that's a misdemeanor because Western education has access to more sources of knowledge than we've had in human history. About f female fertility. And thought they had more time. And then, part of this... Whoops, silly boy, don't do that crap. Ah! Part of this outlook towards biology could have do with the general perception that though through technology, modern society had conquered nature. Surprise, surprise, you don't conquer nature. The contemporary world is a customised one where the individual expects his early, his or could be her early preference and desire. Uber Eats to his online dating options to be met and promptly it is difficult to confront the reality that even science is limited by nature surprise surprise as was exemplified by some of the reactions during the pandemic and then this bit is interesting ah bloody hell sorry about this people many young people also now come from broken homes and divorced parents i.e. they've seen the parents break up, usually it could be instigated by the mother, who broke up the family. Like many young people who also now come from broken homes and divorced parents likely do not encourage their children to prioritise marriage. The, that has been a common thing in all the comments of the MGTOW videos, to make it to the cornerstone of life. Only 62% of millennials were raised by both parents, compared to 71% of Gen Xers and 85% of boomers. 
that'd be me. And 87% of silence. I have no idea what that is. The broken families of one generation can lead to the lack of family formation in another. Well, it only took them several years to work that out. MGTOW have been saying that from the year 2000. And then in the... Ah, oh, bloody hell. In the unexpected legacy of divorce, Professor Judith S. Wallerstein from San Francisco suggests that the impact divorce has on children extends into adulthood affecting relationships and marriages. And then it goes more yada yada. And, oh, silly boy, stop doing that, Christopher. More women are going to college than men, but women would still like partners as educated or more educated than them. No, a guy wants a woman who is friendly, feminine, fertile, and who he really can get on with it and enjoys his company with her. For example, women are 91% more likely to swipe right on Tinder when a man has a master's degree versus a bachelor's degree, according to... Twenenge millennials are more are making more money than previous generations, of course, but every single penny of the rise in younger adults' incomes due to women's incomes. Well, men have always been an adapt at making money, and then it goes yada yada. Then the boy crisis of devastating detail in political science. William Farrell's and consequently grave book, The Boy Cries. Why our boys are struggling until they take the red pill. And what can be primarily traced to the absence of fathers, with 40% of children now born out of wedlock, single mothers. Not only have boys been lagging academically, while well, they're going into trade school instead of college, their lifespans and IQs are decreasing, maybe, and young men are turning to drugs, alcohol and suicide in despair. Maybe until they decide that the best course of action is to look after themselves and set goals for themselves. And then more yada yada. And it goes. Ah. Family policies catered to families who have already been formed were a major driver of falling birth rate is that people are not getting married in the first place. We hope to save the American family. We have to recognise this shift and respond accordingly. Well, the heritage family took its sweet time coming up to that conclusion when MGTOW's men and the Manosphere had been saying it for decades. But anyway, with this coming election, we might have a swing in the public mindset to American families because the conservative American women are staging something of a backlash against Taylor Swift who backs Kamala Harris because looking around I found this now this isn't necessarily in that aspect uh, or as you can see Taylor Swift faces fan backlash for embracing Donald Trump supporter Brittany Mahomes I have no idea who Brittany Mahomes is not being an American and this was done last week. And apparently this is the photograph which caused the uproar. And Taylor Swift is facing a swift backlash from fans for her association with Brittany Mahomes, an outspoken supporter of Donald Trump and wife to Kansas City's chief quarterback. I have no idea what a quarterback is. Philip Mahomes, who is her boyfriend. So... She's backing Kamala Harris, but her boyfriend, who is a quarterback for a team called the Kansas City Chiefs, is a Trump supporter, and the Swifty fans that are wanting to support Kamala Harris because Taylor Swift has said so, don't like the fact that Taylor Swift is being a bit of a um, hypocrite. That's the take, I got it. Those two are in red because that gives a list of all the celebrities who endorse her and the ones that endorse him. The usual suspects are them.
but someone which I didn't expect to be a Trump supporter are in this list. Anyway, he goes on yada yada about it, and she tweeted that time after stroking fires of white supremacy and racism, your entire presidency, you have the nerve to feign moral superior, superiority before threatening violence. When the looting starts, the shooting starts, we will vote you out in November. That was Donald Trump. Is that what she, Taylor Swift says about him? Anyway, no do with me, not being an American. It says, some fans resurface singing out the disparity between Swift's words and lack of action. Not a word about Palestine, the alphabets, blah, blah, blah. On that basis, there's a thing going around conservative women on um, um, TikTok that they're going against the na narrative from the Democrats. I looked around and this, these two are the only ones I could find. This lady. And then it goes round robin. And these two. All the rest is all yada yada about Taylor Swift and commentators and all this, that, the other. Yeah, is that another one? I love putting on just like a very low key cat. No, she's not singing. Is she singing? I love how Taylor Swift is like, hey, are. No, commentator. But anyway. The Heritage Foundation apparently has realized what MGTOWs and the Manosphere has known for decades. There's a real crisis affecting the American family. And because the number of women who have children has on the risen sharply, if they hadn't been indoctrinated with the feminist mind virus, they'd have got with a guy in their level, look at the photographs of your parents, grandparents, and your great-grandparents, the women that they fell in love with, married and had children with. And it says individuals are putting off marriage and children because many who want to get married are struggling to find partners. Well, if women weren't so picky, then they would have found a partner in their prime years. But well, anyway, this is just a quick one. I'm going to wrap it up now. So you know the routine. People like, dislike, comment, comment, etc. It's completely up to you. So I hope this is around about 15 minutes and not a half an hour or so as it's been in the past. That's it till next Monday. Bye-bye.